Well, hello folks. Welcome back. I hope you all are doing good today. <laughs> uh, today is April the 8th, 2024, and as you may know, today is the Solar Eclipse Day here in the, uh, in the USA and parts of other worlds. <laughs> But where I'm located, it is pouring rain, so it just looks like a weird day right now. And then afternoon, it's about 10 to 3, and I think it was supposed to cover the sun about 3.30, something like that. But I hope wherever you are at, uh, that you were able to get to see the eclipse. I saw the one in what 2016 2017 whenever that one was that was that was a lot of fun interesting um but this one yeah eh, you know uh it's changed the temperature where i'm at that is for sure okay so today well folks <laughs> do we have a reading today and i know some of you folks have been waiting for this one and well i gonna tell you i'd Asked my good friend Marilyn, uh, my uh, which uh, Marilyn, if you may know from the other video, she is my good friend. She's a 82 year old lady. She is as sweet as she can be, but she and she's also a, a fortune teller. Now, um, I've had requests of uh, folks wanting to know, you know, would you give us a photo of uh, of Marilyn and all that. And I've tried, folks, to get a photo of her. Um, I mean, I have a photo of her, but she don't want it, you know, she don't want to be on uh, on YouTube. She don't want to be on any kind of social media. She watches YouTube, and she keeps an eye on the news and stuff uh, through other, I don't know, I guess maybe Facebook or something like that. But she, she doesn't really, um, and she is... She's just, uh, I don't know, she's very private. She does her private reading. She's a she's um, an old palm reader, and uh, she she does uh, an old fortune teller. She she really is smart about this. She's learned a lot, and uh, and I learn a lot from her. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you. I asked her. I said, well. Marilyn, how about if I draw a picture of you? I don't draw very well, so it wouldn't have been very good anyway. She said, no, no, I don't want no picture of my... I said, well, tell you what. How about this? If I find a photo that I online that looks like you, that's a drawing, will that be okay? Can I just say that that looks like you, similar? And she said, yeah, that's fine. And I said, okay. So, folks, I found a photo... And this is as close as I could get. Let me see. Get this here. Um, change it over. So this is Marilyn. Well, I don't know who this is, honestly. Um, I tried to get the name of who drew this, but I can tell you right now, it is almost spot on to Marilyn. And um, so whoever drew this thank you you did a beautiful job it kept going back to different names different websites of who owned the drawing so but they did an amazing job and i gotta tell you this is what marilyn looks like she really does now i showed the photo to marilyn she said no that don't look like me i said well it i think it does i think it does so but anyway so that'll kind of give you an idea of about what Marilyn would look like. So let's get to what we really are wanting to know about today. Chris Proudfoot. Oh Lord, folks, wait till you see this. Okay, let me go to the uh, the screen here. This is where the film's going to start. Now, the way I do this, I pre-record it. I let Marilyn take a look at it. Let her give me some thoughts of what she thinks the. Uh, the video and all is going to be so let me get it started and uh, so our video today um, is Chris Proudfoot and today is of course April the 8th 2024 uh, the solar eclipse day right but I wanted to 
do this because so many people wanted, wanted to request it, you know. And I know that there's so many people out there that do tarot card readings and everything. And I've read your comments, and I love your comments. And so you just say, well, can you get Marilyn to come up with a reading? And what I do, I created all these things here. And I'll stop, and so I can kind of explain to you a little bit what's going on. Um, but if, uh, to the left there, the brown cards, that's the tarot cards. I call them the tarot spirit cards. To the right, the uh, sort of beige cards to the right, that's the ghost spirit cards. They're the carnamency. You can um, kind of tell a fortune, really you can, from poker cards. And in the center, that's the uh, gender cards. You'll you'll see here in a minute. And then it to the left up there, that is the fortune tellers. We'll get to that. So let's go ahead and get started. And boy, folks, <laughs> when I showed this to Marilyn, um, she had a lot of insight. She was smiling. She was shaking her head. And well, here we Welcome, go. Welcome, spirits. <laughs> Welcome, spirits. I asked your help. I'm asking your help. This now, just so you know, I'm bringing in the spirits. I'm asking. This is what Marilyn told me to do. She says, when you start all this, you want to bring the spirits in. You want to move your hands so the spirits, if there's a spirit around you, they can kind of tell what you're doing. You know, you're welcoming them. You know, so in a sense. So, but you have to be careful. You got to ring the bell. Get the bad spirits out of here. So that's what's going on right now. This is a session for Chris Proudfoot. He is the stepdad to Sebastian Rogers. Sebastian Rogers has been missing, as you well know, February 26, 2024. Need some information. If there's any bad spirits here, please go away. Good spirits, I bring you in. You're you're welcome to come in. Yes, we definitely do not want any bad spirits at all. No, no. We need some information about Chris Proudfoot spirits. Does he have any information about the disappearance of Sebastian Rogers, his stepson? That's all we're asking. If you can give us some court sort of information that would help us understand that's all we're asking <laughs> now folks this device i had explained that on the other two videos that you saw it is the emf reader it just electronic magnetic reader it kind of picks up if there's like a like a signal or Are you here? If, if there's energy you know and you can see it's moving the numbers are moving up they're moving down that uh, spirits. Marilyn, Can she says that in? that is a, spirits it's a really good in? device Will you come in? Um, to use to kind of see if there's some energy in here. So, boy, it started reading really good. Spirits, are you here? I need some help, some information. <laughs> information, if you I was can. Getting, I was getting spooked. We have activity. We do. Oh. We got some activity here. Yep. See, it's it's like it went fire there. Right so, here. welcome spirits. That's crazy, and they're hovering above, but down on the table, nothing. So I don't know what that means, but there you go. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, so you're over the board here. You're over the board. Check this again. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I you want to do. know. There's some sort of presence. But yeah, that de not. that device is something, folks. We'll keep it on. Okay. So, spirits, I welcome you. I need to know if we have a male, female, or a neutral. And if you could help us, I'm going to roll the dice. And uh, let me know if I have a male, female, or neutral spirit here. Now, folks, I really 
love these cards here because of the fact that Marilyn says that, uh, and she used, like I said, something like this, um, and it kind of can let you know if there is a kind of a spiritual energy here that may be, it may have been a male, may have been a female, may have been both, which would have been neutral, or they just don't want to say. So that's what they Or are. some sort of presence. What do we have? One, two, or three. Spirits, one, two, or three. Sure, we're rolling. We're running. Six. <laughs> yeah, when that happens, uh, Marilyn says they're concentrating. They can't decide what number, but when you get the number, that's when they've decided. Okay. Six. One, two. two. One, two. Okay. Thank you, spirits. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> we have a male and folks I gotta tell you the last reading that I did um, with Katie oh, that was, it was so scary because this is the same one that came up a male card now, does it mean something? we don't know we don't know for sure uh, you have to take a lot of this with a grain of salt but isn't that something wait till you see all the other stuff that comes up again Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you, spirits. Okay. <laughs> All right, spirits. I need help with a fortune teller. There's our fortune tellers, as you well know. Yes, and the fortune tellers, um, like I said, these are, there are four fortune tellers, and they represent like club, heart, spade, and diamond, each one of them. So, um, and we'll go over a little bit more of this here in a minute. So, help me with a fortune teller. Help me with a fortune teller. One, two, three, or four. I love these cards. What's the dice going to roll? One, two, three, or four, spirits. Three. One, two, three. I didn't waste no time on that. <laughs> Thank you, spirits. Let's see who we have. Oh, oh my goodness, Lester Hannah Jenia. Yeah, that is my gosh. I love this, and I'm so surprised this come up because let me show you a better photo of Lester. Let's see, so you can get a little better look. There's a story. I have a video that you can watch on on him and all the other uh, fortune tellers, but. Trust me, folks, you want to watch it and understand his story. It is something. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, as you can see, there's a diamond at the bottom. Well, he represents a diamond. Hello, so. Lester. Lester, you re represents the diamonds. We'll get to Lester here in just a few moments there. Very good. Thank you. Okay, spirits. I need... Uh, any bad ones go away I'm yeah you always want to try to ring the bell just ever so often Marilyn says that a lot of times a bad spirit will come flowing in you do not want that to happen when you're trying to do some sort of a, a reading a message uh, uh, you know something going on um, so you always want to try to keep them bad spirits out bringing the good, good ones in Okay, spirits, here we have the Terra Ghost Cards. Terra Ghost Spirit Cards, as I call them. I need one card, spirit. One card that can help us, that can help us understand something about the situation that Chris Proudfoot knows about this situation. Anything would be great. Yeah. I wanted to let you know, folks, now, some of you folks, you know, you do study the Terra, um, and some of you are the, uh, you know, uh, the, you know, psychics, uh, you know, out there, professional psychics, and I asked Marilyn, which she's an old psychic card reader, she does a beautiful job, she always tell me, yes, you can get a great story out of just one card, that's all I wanted to do, and um, wait till you see this. I'm going to roll the dice 
you tell me how many cards to deal out till we get to that one. Six. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. And this is the sixth card. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, I want you to know too that this on this card, um, we do I do reversal. Some some uh, psychics don't. I'm not a psychic. I'm not a medium, okay? I don't think I even said that in the beginning, but just know that I am not. This is just a hobby for me. But as we're doing this, this the uh, <laughs> the moon apparently is going over the sun because it's starting to get darker here, and it's 3 o'clock. It's really creepy. Spirits. So let's see if it's upright or reverse. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> yep. oh, the two of pentacles, and it is reversed. Yep, it is as reversed. you can see, folks. Oh, turn boy. it around, but it was reversed. Okay, folks. Now, let me show you what this card means. Okay, I love doing this, and I asked Marilyn, and she takes notes and. Uh, and this is my notes that I've had for a long time. And she uh, said, yes, this is ex pretty much what this card, it can mean all kinds of things, but pretty much this. So here we go. So first of all, let's see if you can get it so you can get a little picture, a little better picture of what the card looks like. Now, you see, you have to kind of look at the card, what's going on. We got water. We got a, a, a lady here that's kind of, balancing things right looks like two coins or something like that and uh so and there's other meanings of what this card means you know each each psychic will have different meanings so so the the two of pinnacles up upright so it wasn't upright so we got to go down to reverse so here is the reverse folks listen to this this is for chris proudfoot supposedly the card that the spirits wanted us to know something about about Chris. So, the two of pinnacles reverse, lacking balance. These are the key words. Lack of organization, poor financial decision. Ooh, overwhelmed, overextending yourself, biting off more than you can chew. Too many balls in the air. Oh my gosh, financial losses. No uh, contingency plan. Financial mess. In a general context, the two of pentacles reverse can indicate that you are biting off more than you can chew. You may be trying to keep too many balls in the air, finding it, it is impossible to maintain, maintain the balance between the various areas of your life. The, this minor arcana card represents uh, feeling overwhelmed, over extending uh, yourself and lack of organization Ooh, yeah. um, organization yeah uh, the two of pentacles reverse can signify that you are making poor choices but because you are under pressure yep and maybe getting yourself into more of a mess than you need to folks it can also indicate that you need to put a contingency plan in place for a rainy day Hmm. We think, folks. We think. Is that uh, is that saying anything about Chris Proudfoot? Don't know. We don't know, right? We really don't. But it is inter interesting that um, that card came up. So let's continue on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, folks, if you will, if you are a professional psychic, let me know in the comments what you think this may be saying about this situation of Chris Proudfoot. Does he is he aware of like the situation? I'll give you Marilyn's uh, assumption here at the end here. So That's a, that is a very interesting card for this read. It is getting so okay. dark outside. Spirits continuing on. Now we have Lester Halogenia. And Lester here represents a diamond. Spirits, I'm going to asked your request for a card that will help us understand Chris Proudfoot and the situation that he knows about this case. Either good or bad. 
We would like to know if you can help us with this. I am going to flip through the cards and the first diamond we come to, as you can see, Lester represents the diamonds. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is like perfect. I've been doing this for years, kind of as a hobby. And uh, Marilyn, she loves the cardamency cards, the poker cards, because you can, it's like right in your face what's going to happen from the past, present, and future. So, the first diamond card will help us understand. And remember, there is no reversals on these. Yeah, I don't do reversals. It's hard Not on these at all. Club. Oh. <laughs> Man. Where have we seen this card before, folks? That is crazy. This card came up, I believe, on, uh, yeah, Sebastian's reading. You know, I did it. The very first reading, I did Sebastian's. This card came up. Very, very interesting card. Let me go over here so you can see what this card means here. So this is the um, Eight of Diamonds, folks. And this is, I want you to look at this, okay? First of all, you've got some packages or something on the doorstep. You have to kind of look at the picture on these cards. And it can tell a story. you got a time piece. So is that telling us something is, uh, something time, something's, been timed something needs to be timed something has been timed because this card it can represent like from the past present or future so but um you have an ornament on the door so let's see what the card says the eight of diamonds okay this is crazy time pieces large homes packages yards and gardens large story buildings banks or financial uh, institutions, hidden hidden money, a room with a view, and rich neighbors. When I saw that, the neighborhood that they live in, yeah, it's pretty wealthy. Yeah, yeah. Now, this state of Hawaii and a, a country of South Africa, I don't know why they had put this, the meaning of this card in there, but that's that could mean something about the situation. Uh, this is the House of Good Fortune card. This card is about the fortification of something that needs to be strengthened and protected. Mm. Represents a challenge within yourself card. So, would that be telling us that whatever the story is going on with possibly Chris, there's been a big challenge. It's been something going on that you normally you wouldn't have to worry about like you had to challenge yourself with this situation possibly the eight of diamonds is like bringing uh, bringing something into being by opening up your own personal doors uh, and allowing good vibes to enter can also mean a marriage and a travel situation i saw that and i said oh wow that's going to be happening in late in life and for the bad, it could mean financial ups and downs like money in your hand or out. You know, folks, right there, I mean, he is already, he's, he's already said in an interview that, well, he's lost his job. But we don't know if that's true or not. But I'm sure this is impacting his whole ability. So I don't know. Uh, the card heralds the presence of good fortune and success. Test your boundaries, but avoid the pitfalls of becoming overly ambitious and of power hungry. I saw that. And if you see some of the videos, a lot of people will say, oh, he's just, he's power, he, he power hungry. He wants to be in charge. So, yeah, so you need to try to become falling in that pitfall. That's what it's saying. Now, this is the message from Lester Halogenia. Each one of the cards have a different message, and this is his. It says, uh, my name is Lester Halogenia. Your message from this card is, only in the darkness can you see the stars. Folks, wow. This message is possibly from what was, what is, uh, or what could be. Thanks for listening to my message today. Please be aware of your up coming travel be safe and good evening on that Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. now i'm just going to tell you folks if there is some something to this card it has really speak uh spoke volume because there's something about that house this card came up with sebastian um in the same type of reading 
It's now come up with Chris Proudfoot. There was a different car that came up with Katie. If you hadn't seen that video, I've got that one. Watch it. It's it's definitely something. But this card, I just, I'm going to tell you, I think there's something that we need to concentrate or something about the house. So let's continue on. Boy. Hmm. The Eight of Diamonds. Wow. The Eight of Diamonds. Yeah, I'm so okay. surprised that came up again. Well, That's crazy. This is very interesting. So far, I mean, we have we have a male, possibly in our reading here. We have a two of pentacles, and we have the eight of diamonds. Okay. <laughs> Get the bad spirits out of here. Let's see here. Let me bring this up again. Let's see if we hear. We, we have some reading. We still have some readings here. Yes, we do. Yep, we have some Definitely. readings. Definitely. Are you here? Something's, something's going on. I'm here. I see you're here. <laughs> uh this this reading was so scary, and I got to tell you right now, folks, I'm looking out and the again, window. I'm looking out the window, and it's just getting so dark. <laughs> and I'm I'm recording this. I'm like, oh wow, and it's raining. So what's coming up next is the ghost blocks. You, if you saw the other two videos, this is the ghost blocks, folks. Story time here. So these are the uh, ghost blocks. Ghost spirit blocks. The ghost blocks. I'm going to roll the dice. How many blocks, spirits? How many blocks do we? You want me to uh, roll out of the bag? How many blocks out of the bag? Oh my <laughs> gosh. Just one, one block. One block. Wow. Okay. One block it is. Let's see what it is. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> the light Oh the bolt of lightning. Wow, the bolt of lightning, folks. Okay. So let me get uh let me get this up here. When I saw that, I'm like, what the hell does that mean? What could that mean? If it's meaning something, what does a first of all it's just one dice. It's all it came up. But this is uh let me get this up here. This is what this bolt, each one of these images means something. So this one, lightning strike, bad weather, electricity, shock, power, uh, energy, quick death. I saw that on, I saw, oh Lord, please no, and heavy rain. So, uh, you know, I, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what this means. But also, I saw where it also means like, monster okay that's that's what we're getting off of that that's what marilyn was saying she says monster and i'm like oh, oh holy cow that's that's crazy so that's that so all right let's wow. continue on folks you see that the bolt of lightning lightning strikes oh boy does it strike twice in the same spot. Oh Lord. Mm. I don't want to find out. Thank you spirits for that. And finally spirits here. On the board. We have the message bag. As you can see. <laughs> now folks. If you're not sure about this. The message bag. There's over a thousand and something messages in this bag. Folks I got to tell you. It's just crazy what comes up. But um this Marilyn says is yes. This is a great way for the uh, potential of the spirits. If you have any that can communicate, this is a great way for them to communicate with you. So let's let's see what comes out of the bag. A message, a final message that you would like to relay to us, if you can, that would have something to do with Chris Proud. I'm going to roll the dice. How many messages to take out of the bag? 
Oh, wow. Six. Now, let me say this, too, okay? Folks, before we continue, uh, anyone watching this, and, you know, you never know, Chris, you may be watching this. You may be. Um, I just want you to know, this is just, this is nothing to the gospel that could be happening or what be going on. Uh, this is just my vision of what I think a spirit would be saying on this board with all these things. So, uh, take all this with a grain of salt. Yeah. <laughs> Six. Okay. Well, those spirits want to talk today. Oh, oh, by the way, this is the eclipse day, folks. Yes, it is. Yep. It oh, is getting boy. dark. All right, so that's the one. Making sure we got that. I'm in East Tennessee, yeah. too, folks, so I'm just kind of going through here. That's two. I didn't get, we're not getting the full eclipse. Three. But it's definitely getting dark. Help me, help me pick them. Help me pick them. Spirits. I was getting nervous pulling these messages out. Mm -hmm. It's like six. Normally it's maybe one, two, three, but six. Spirits, uh -huh. they want to talk. The sixth one would be. That's, that's what I'm yes. thinking. Okay. Thank you, spirits. For that. All right. So let's see what we have, what the messages is. Boy, this is a very interesting Boy, a very good read. Thank you, spirits. So our first message. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. He is not guilty. Mm -hmm. He is. Okay. When I saw this, I'm like, okay, who are they? If the spirits are trying to talk to us, who would they be talking to? Folks, leave in a comment who you think he is not guilty. Who are they talking about? Are they talking about Chris? Are they talking about self, uh, Sebastian's uh, biological father? Are they talking about somebody else? This was crazy. This came up. So, and I'm still not sure uh, what not this means. Guilty. Wow. Okay. Marilyn says she thinks it's just it's telling you that there's a guilt, and that. Um, that it's reflecting back to Sebastian that he is not guilty of any of this happening. And I feel like that's probably what this could be about, that Sebastian's spirit is just wherever it is, you know, whatever's going on, that it's trying to communicate that, hey, you know, he's not guilty. Sebastian's the one that's not guilty. That's the one I'm going with on this. Let me know what you think. Okay, what does that tell us? Um, okay, oh my goodness. I like it when you laugh, it makes me feel good. <laughs> so, you know, I'm thinking, the only thing that came to me when I was seeing this, I, I mean, I don't know, I know that there's been talk about people watching Chris Proudfoot on some of his interviews and how he laughs. Um, and then, of course, Katie, how she laughs, you know, at, throughout different parts. So I don't know what this means. I don't know if this means that uh, a spirit is just gathering that laugh. I don't know. You let me know what you think. Hmm. Where have we heard? Is it indicating that a spirit could be uh, acknowledging guilt? or something that this spirit feels good about i don't know i'm getting all kind of um marilyn seems to think that this is this some sort of a a guilt trip thing that a spirit is trying to say but what not 100 percent sure about laughing i like it when you laugh it makes me feel good yeah that's oh, oh, oh. cold chills i have no idea Oh my gosh. I have been taken away. Yep. When I saw that, folks, I'm like, mm, what? What does that tell you? Yes. Yes. If this is Sebastian or a, if this is, well, let's just say, because I still believe Sebastian is alive. But if this is a spirit that knows where uh, Sebastian is, maybe this is a spirit, his angel saying, hey, I've been taken away. Help me. Find me. I'm, you let me know what you think. 
You see that, folks? I have been taken away. There's, oh my gosh, yes you have. If, that's talking about Sebastian, yes you have. Oh gosh, what is this? It says law enforcement knows a lot of information about the situation. Wow, folks. I couldn't believe this came up. And I'm just thinking the spirits, if they are trying to talk to us, maybe they know. Maybe they know that the law enforcement is getting ready to close this case, to bring it to an end, to show us what happened. One way or another, let me know again what you think. Oops, you see that? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Law enforcement knows a lot of information about the situation. Okay, I'm really got cold chills now. Yes, I did. Ooh. And let's see here. You need the search in the West. Oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, oh, let me tell you, when I saw this one, I'm like, what does that? Oh, oh, where is, where are we at? compared to out west and what would be out west that would be maybe related to Chris Proudfoot this situation this whole thing and the only thing I could think of folks I don't know if this means it but I kept coming up with Memphis you know supposedly where he was working I have no idea if this is anything related to this whole story folks you Please let me know if any of you psychics out there, professional psychics, what do you think so far? Is this trying to say that we have been looking in the wrong location or people have been looking? At, I, it could be. I really think it could be. Boy. Oh, oh, boy. You need to search in the West. Yeah, that's crazy. Holy that cow. Cow. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> and finally, what does this say? This is our last one here. Oh my gosh. Surviving with little food. Uh, you know, folks, I, d I heard something yesterday that was kind of really weird that this came up because a lot of folks are looking at Sebastian and how tiny he is. Um, and, you know, they were talking about, I don't know if this is true, saying that the refrigerator was being locked up or bolted shut so that at his home um, where he went missing, uh, I don't know, again, I don't know if this is true, um, just to keep him out so he wouldn't eat because he eats too much or snacks too much or something like that. Is this why this would come up? Is this, I mean, I don't know if, is it possible that the spirit that knows about Sebastian that is reading into this is, has helped me bring this message out of the back? It is possible, right? But uh, surviving with little food, bless his heart, boy, this is, uh, this is something. Surviving with little food. <laughs> Yeah, Oops. I'm just, I'm just uh, I'm, I was getting choked when getting I saw choked. that. I'm like, um, crazy. That is one of the, this is, oh my gosh, what a reading. I'm, let me check. Are you still recording? Yes. Yeah, I was. Okay, folks. <clears throat> I'll go over all this here. My good friend Marilyn is going to have a field date on this. Trust me. What does the lightning mean? Yeah. Spirits, you are now you are now welcome to exit this session. The session of Chris Proudfoot on April eighth, twenty twenty four. You are welcome to leave. I will do, do a smudging afterwards, but you are welcome to leave as right now. You are welcome to leave. Please leave the session. I will ask your presence again. I will request your presence again in the near future. Thank you, spirits. Thank you for this reading. Thank you. And any bad spirits, be gone. Thank you, spirits. Thank you. Wow, folks, I got to tell you, um, that's that's what I'm saying. I mean, this has been so crazy on this. Um, I um, 
I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. But so we've got, uh, of course, we've got Le Lester Halogenia, and then we have the uh, Two of Pentacles, and then we had the uh, Eight of Diamonds. So, folks, let me know if you are a professional psychic. Let me know what you think these cards are saying. Marilyn looked at this and said, yep, yep. Uh, Mr. Proudfoot, well, you uh, you know more about this situation than you're letting on. That's all she would say. She said there's a high possibility that you're not giving everything that needs to be given in this uh, case. So, yeah, she's right. I, I believe there's something going on. Well, folks, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, get on out. Uh, of this room because it's so dark I gotta turn some lights on and I appreciate you watching if you will um, if you will please hit the like button if you like what you're seeing I've got some more uh, readings coming of some very interesting people that I want to try to see if I can get Marilyn to help me with um, and you know and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so because it'll let you know that when I when I hit another video up, it'll let you know that. But, folks, this has been quite a reading. I want to know your comments, your thoughts. I know that there's non-believers out there, and that's perfectly fine. I get it. I saw one comment that said, what you going to do when you, uh, when you run out of, or when the psychics are not right? Well, then, I, you know, I'm hoping that we're all wrong here, that uh, Sebastian is... I hope he's alive and well, and he just, you know, he ran off somewhere, and he's okay, I'm hoping. But, you know, every day that poor Sebastian's not being found, well, that's another day that, you know, that we need to know that this case could turn cold, and we don't want that. So, so folks, just remember, you know, um, it's, it's, it's tough out here for this situation, um, and I mean, people, I don't know, people are just trying to figure out, let me see if I can get uh, this on here. I'm trying to, I just, I, you know, I'm wanting, I'm wanting this to come to a good conclusion. I really do. And um, I just, I, I don't know. I, I, I really hope that we can find some, some sort of a, uh, you know, something here that's going to help us with this situation because um, everybody just wants to know what's going on with Sebastian. You know, bless his heart, we need to know. So, Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you have a good evening. If you have a loved one close by or someone you know, give them a hug. Tell them you love them because you just never know, folks. So until next time, folks, this is George, and well, we'll see you down the road. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.